And going back to your own experience as training as a nurse, what was that like? And you and you went pretty young right after high school. So, so could you tell us about that? So in some ways that was really great because I sort of, I consider myself growing up that way. Um, it was, it was, um, it was easy to adapt, I think, because it just, it, it really seemed to happen very fast. And it was all that I knew, you know, I went directly from high school into nursing school and, and learned about nursing. If I had maybe done something else before, it might have been different. Um, but that was, you know, graduating young and um, it, it just seemed that that was the right thing to do. And, you know, you continuously learning. I mean, that's the wonderful thing about nursing. There's so much diversity. There's so much to learn. There's so much science and it truly is an art. And you really are, you're learning something every single day. So mm -hmm. it, it's, it's, it's so exciting. Yeah, that's really great. And I was just wondering, like, what opportunities or experiences um, have been the most important to you as you've developed into a leader? Do you think going to nursing school right after high school helped you, um, helped you to get to this high leadership role? I actually think it did, um, because I had to be very independent very early in my career. Um, so I quickly transitioned from, uh, you know, a new graduate to being a charge nurse and, and moving into a leadership role and, and having a level of independence. And I, I do think that, you know, some of that might have come from being the eldest child, maybe, you know, when you think about growing up in that sense, but uh, graduating and, and uh, starting early in, in my career in a department where you really have to, to an emergency department. Well, any role in nursing, you have to be autonomous. But uh, I do think that, you know, thinking on, on your feet very quickly sort of helped me in, in the leadership path. And um, just, I would say that, you know, you certainly need organizational skills no matter what area you, you work in. But when you are in an ER and you're not sure what's going to happen next, you know, working on, on um, even in critical care, there is some sort of a, you know, you, you maybe don't anticipate the next patient, but you kind of know what the rhythm is going to be. But in the ED, you know, anything can happen at, at pretty much any time and having to then think quickly on your feet, triage the situation really did prepare me, I feel, for, for leadership roles.